One of the most important things to keep in mind when you're working from home as a virtual assistant or a healthcare virtual assistant, rather, is your home setup. It doesn't really mean that you should have an office like this, but as long as you've got a pretty decent computer, which can run different kinds of applications with sufficient memory, a backup internet connection, and backup power, or you can also have a backup laptop if you're using a desktop, would probably be the most important things to maintain a reliable service. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick glimpse of how my home office, backup internet connection, and backup power looks like. Although this is not really going to work for everybody, I really do hope that I could inspire you and give you some tips on how to improve the reliability of your services as healthcare virtual assistants. What are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, welcome po sa aking home office. I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick view of how my home office looks like. So, ito po yung aking pegboard. This is where I keep all my wirings, my headphone, my stuff that I kind of like use on almost a daily basis. Uh, I, this is a metallic pegboard, it's magnetic. So, pwede ko pong iligay yung mga microphone dyan kung magkakaraoke. I got these to my car. Um, and yan. Para po makikita ka agad kung gusto kong lumabas so nagmamadali po ako. This is my um, server PC which is also my backup computer. It runs my trading software and um, dyan po gumagawa ng mga other, other projects. Um, here is my, yeah, the, my background. I teach English po kasi and I want to keep my background really nice and tidy so that uh, it would be uh, appreciated by my students. So I have here a uh, salt lamp ionizer, a moon lamp, some plants with some lights. I got here a um, sofa bed. So minsan po pag uh, gusto kong quick nap, I usually just use that sofa bed for that. Uh, this is my um, one of my favorite paintings, R2-D2 and the Mandalorian thingy. And we have here some of my decorations. I have here a um, plasma ball. Touch that, you can feel the warmth of the electricity. It's one of the coolest science, uh, you know, stuff that I've seen when I was a kid, so I decided to buy that as well. And it's the Poyong. PlayStation uh, button logos. Uh, I used to play PlayStation a lot when I was a kid, so it kind of like reminds me of my childhood book. And this is my air freshener. I turn it on and just press it here. There's also a remote control. And there we go. I can turn it on like that but so I don't really have to turn it on. And let's go to my uh, desktop. So this is my desktop. I run uh, everything on this 55-inch monitor. Uh, I use it for multitasking instead of just getting multiple monitors out there. I also use this for leisure. So upo po ako dito pag gusto ko manood. Tatabi ko lang po yung upuan na yan. Pwede ko na po siyang going home on entertainment system. Pag hindi naman po, I can use it for my work. This is my other monitor. My secondary monitor po pag if I need to do a lot of multitasks like pag nage hello live po streaming and stuff like that para ano ko po yung nangyayari sa mga iba ibang bagay uh, this is the heart and soul of my setup this is my um, computer my desktop pc so it runs on intel uh, 8600k with uh, 30, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, it has a GTX 1070 Ti for its uh, for the graphics card. It has a one gigabyte uh, M.2 SSD with three Corsair RGB fans. It also has like two SSDs in there. 
and one hybrid storage, which means it's a combination of both SSD and HDD into one. It has two terabytes of that. And I also have the ROG Rio, uh, 240 millimeter cooler para po sa processor. Uh, it's not really necessary to get that kind of water cooler, but I, I mean liquid cooler, but I played games with it before and I really need a pretty good cooling system to prevent my processor from overheating. So that's, po, that's it, po. this is a run, um, this is case case, is a mini ITX. I have here a Bluetooth speaker but I like to listen to some music. So at the yung keyboard, I have a um, Razer keyboard with a keyboard uh, cushion here. Got here some Razer mouse. I'm a huge fan of Razer. I know it's overpriced. And yeah, this is my camera. This is what I use for the live sessions. Uh, it's a Logitech Brio. It's a 4K camera, but you po kailangan talaga ng 4K. You can just use a 1080p camera. It works just fine. Um, 4K po, wide lang po yung kinukuha niyang angle, but I only use 1080p. Good thing about that camera, it has an excellent setting uh, for low light conditions. This is what I want to emphasize. Um, this is going to be my face light. Usually you use just ring lights, but mine is a customized face light. My switch po dyan, meron po siyang mga T5. I actually have four T5s in there. Pag gusto mo po my beauty light, Boom! Yan po yung itsura nun. So it has, yan po yung blue, beauty light. It looks really nice. Uh, pag uh, you're doing some video conferences, it really illuminate your face, make you make you, your skin look really bright. And let me just turn that off real quick. So I run po with a microphone. This is my, uh, I think it's the BY700, I guess, from Boya. It's kind of like very similar to um, the Blue Yeti microphone. I have the Blue Yeti po. Um, I think I bought it in 2017, I guess. And po sa na po eh. Kaya po ko niyan. Anyway, the Blue Yeti is a pretty good microphone, but that one just does it for like half the price. So right now, you can buy this on sale, uh, Boya. BY700. Uh, this one is just uh, 3,500 pesos right now. I bought it for 5,000, but you get like great discounts. Uh, if you notice, my room is surrounded by lots of these acoustic foams. So uh, these acoustic foams uh, tr try to um, prevent the echoes. So that's why you don't really hear a lot of echoes when I'm talking. Uh, before that that was really useful when I was doing karaoke so when I'm having classes and before po na may mga appliances dito kasi dati wala pa pong cortina wala pa pong sofa wala pa po tong carpet so the, the the noise is really bouncing back and forth and I needed to have that para po masuppress po yung mga mga background noise so ito po yung mga main setup so ipapakita ko po sa inyo yun ang aking um, backup internet connection as well as backup electricity. Okay, po tayo. Yung office ko po kasi nasa basement. Ito po yung bahay namin. Medyo magulo. Pasensya na. Okay. So, ito po yung backup internet ko. Ito yung primary ko, which is the PLDT. Alam ko po, walang perfect na, na internet connection sa Pilipinas. Kaya gagawin po natin na paraan para meron po tayong uh, stable internet connection. So, meron po ako dito uh, PLDT na home fiber. Uh, 50 Mbps po ito. Ito meron po akong globe at home fiber. 75 Mbps po yan. Meron po akong switch dito para po yung dalawang internet connection na ito uh, makakarating po dun sa opisina ko. Ito po, magtataka kayo. Ito po ay signal booster para po sa 4G just in case. Ito po yung parang pinaka-antena niya. Yan yung parang receiver. Yung antenna po niya nasa labas. Naka-install po sa buong. So, pag nag-brownout po, meron po ako dito. UPS. Yan po. po Hindi ko pa lang nakikita nyo. Yung UPS na yan. Uh, Nakonect po yun sa dalawa kong modem. So, just in case may blackout, meron pa rin po akong internet connection. Tapos, gagamitin ko po yung laptop ko para makakatrabaho pa rin ako kahit black, blackout. 
So dito ko po usually nilalagay yung computer ko pag nagba-blackout Pero hindi naman po masyadong nagba-blackout dito sa Manila kaya okay lang So for my backup electricity Just in case po na maubusan po ng battery yung laptop ko Meron po akong is isang option So pato po naman tayo sa sasakyan uh, Meron po ako sa loob So for our uh, backup um, electricity po Just in case maubusan ng battery yung laptop What I do is I use po this uh, power inverter It's uh, currently 1000 watts right now So it could power up your laptop po kung maubusan ng battery So meron po tayong ano dito Lighter, yung sinasaksakan natin ng lighter Hindi po makita pero ito po yun All you have to do is just to open this uh, Tapos isaksak nyo po ito Oh, make sure the car is turned on Hindi ko po ma-on yung sasakyan ngayon kasi wala pong susindala Tapos dito nyo po isasaksak yun Ito yung main plug nya Dito yung isasaksak yung laptop nyo Or pwede kayo gumamit extension cable Isaksak nyo yung extension dyan Tapos isaksak nyo yung laptop at saka yung um, internet routers nyo Just in case maubos na po yung um, battery ng UPS So, ito po yung ano, yung mga options natin. Of course, di po sa lahat ng tao, pabagay ang ganitong setup. Kung talaga pong brownout sa inyo, maabot ng oras-oras. If it lasts for about uh, more than 8 hours or 4 to 8 hours, just like what happened in our city before in Mindanao, uh, much better po kumuha na lang kayo ng generator. Alright guys, so we're back at the office and I do hope that you guys enjoyed a little tour of our house, including my home setups and everything else. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please feel free to subscribe and please do not forget to like this video. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next one.